Girl, I'm so tired. It's so early. Normally, I get out of bed, hop right into the shower, and I wake the hell up. But this time around, I don't know what's happening. It's okay. So then we get to have a lot of fun. And this is going to be one of those videos where you get to see my energy from like, to like, oh my god. It always happens because makeup just helps transform just my mood in general. And then we're going to talk about like my entire weekend. Because I did see a comment where someone was saying, where are you? Post a video. I'm waiting. I, like I wait for your videos all the time. I did skip Monday and so I've been filming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and you're seeing this on Friday but I'm gonna give you an update on to what I did last weekend because girl I got on a motorcycle. And hey, if you didn't see the unboxing for my paid box, it is already live. Make sure you click up here or visit the description box. I'll link it there along with my PR unboxing. We're going to try the products from like my paid box. I have some add-ons by the way, but we've got Kosas, we've got Danessa, we've got more Danessa, we've got more Danessa, we've got Tar. And so I'm just really excited. I'm going to use the Darby Lab product. It is a highlighter slash slash serum. We're going to apply that all over the face. Okay, so let me explain what happened. Fourth of July, obviously, was on a Thursday. And of course, you know, there's not much to do on a Thursday. You can't really go away unless you take time off of work. And that just was not going to work out for myself and my husband. So we kind of stayed home. We kind of chillaxed here. We grilled, enjoyed the pool. Friday, we decided we needed to come up with a game plan. And it was literally like late at night. It was like 9.30 at night. We were looking for hotels. Maybe like, let's go away for the weekend because my husband had Monday off. And I was like, I'll take it off to it's fine not a problem the issue is it's florida and the closest locations i have to meet is miami and orlando there's no way that last minute you could book a hotel at a decent rate for like three to four days and just pack your stuff last minute and go you can do that it's just you're not gonna get a decent rate all the rates were freaking bananas but it's because obviously it's like fourth of uh fourth of july weekend and a lot of people were just really trying to do the most and enjoy a long long weekend the foundation i have right in front of me is going to be the cover effects power play img 60 i absolutely love her so we're gonna go with that and it is kind of like a satiny, semi-matte foundation. So I think it'll work with the serum highlighter product. So we ended up deciding, you know what, very last minute, we'll get up, we'll go to the beach, take the girls to the beach. They've been asking to go to the beach for like ever. And I know we're in Florida, but like we're so busy all the time. So we don't get a chance to go to the beach. And to be fair, I'm not a beach person. You get sand all over crevices that you wouldn't think you would get. How is it you have capris? A tank top and you're probably like covered up you know you have layers and somehow you end up getting sand in crevices that you're like how'd you get there it's just sand is just creepy okay and I don't like it I tend not to go to the beach but the girls wanted to go so I told my husband you know what that's fine let's just go to the beach make an event of it because I technically technically didn't know if going to Miami made sense because everyone else you know they're in Miami they're gonna have plans or so I assumed turns out they didn't have any plans and made plans last minute for everyone to get together and they told my husband, bring down the bike. We're going to go for a bike ride. We ended up packing up from the beach, headed over to the house to get ready, to shower, pack, get ourselves together, and then drive down to Miami, which is, it's not far. It's like an hour and a half. It was definitely a lot, but it was so worth it because my mother-in-law cooked and the food was fun fabulous and i'm all about food so i was like yes this didn't come in the box but i feel like i want to try it it is the hourglass vanish i got it in sienna i'm not sure if it's my shade or not but we're gonna try her might be too light actually i'm gonna pop sienna here and here oh it might actually work and then i'll go in and bronze with the bronzer that i got in my box which i feel like i got played because this baby is tiny before i resume let's just see how this looks on the skin because if it doesn't work i'm gonna be so mad i think as long as i'm careful for it'll be fine see what i mean every time i have my hair loose it gets in my freaking face and it's annoying so we make it to miami obviously i'm enjoying food right in the middle of me eating they're like let's go for a bike ride and i'm like no now if you're new here my husband just got a motorcycle like in may i didn't grow up in that world he's always wanted a motorcycle but we were in jersey and with the snow and stuff it just doesn't make sense i know you don't get snow all year round but still it doesn't make sense to have a motorcycle for just like four to five months out of the year now that we're in florida he ended up getting on a motorcycle my in-laws have a motorcycle and both my brother-in-laws have motorcycles so they like to ride together and it's cool it's it's really really cool to watch it happen but to have to be one on a motorcycle freaks me the hell out i think it's a good shade i think if you go in lightweight it's very forgiving i'm not gonna say it's gonna be one of my favorites that i've tried but it's nice definitely something nice to try out of a beauty box 
I was kind of concerned of getting on the motorcycle. So I, I you know, I was okay with staying behind. My 10 year old Tai Tai was all about it. So she was like, I'll go. And she went. Now I know at some point I would have to get on. That was one of the things that my husband and I have talked about. Bonding in different ways and doing different things, especially things that we never thought that we would be doing, you know? And sometimes you have to compromise. And I told them, sure. Mm. Mm -mm. Ty went on the motorcycle ride, everything was great, everything was fantabulous. They get back, we're definitely having drinks, joking around, having a terrific time. I'm not mad at it, me suspecting nothing. The next day, they had plans to ride again. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, okay. I stayed quiet. I didn't even have the shoes that I hauled from Timu, which are like boots for riding. I didn't even pack that because I did not, it was not part of my plan. It was not expected, I'm thinking, they're going to ride, not me. Girl, no ma'am. Next thing you know, my sister-in-law shows up on her motorcycle and goes, I didn't forget about you. And she brought me riding shoes. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, you told me yesterday you didn't come prepared that you just had sandals. So girl with the same shoe size, I got you. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And then I didn't have like appropriate pants or even a jacket to wear. And my mother-in-law was like, I've got you. So it's almost like I got set up in a way, but it's fun. And I was freaking out because I looked at my husband. He was like, you're either coming or you're not. But um, remember we talked about this and I was like, okay. I'm the kind of person that if I say I'm gonna do something, then I have to do it whether I want to or not because it's just like, I keep my word. But girl, I was freaking out i was so nervous i was like i don't want to die you know there's so many horror stories about motorcycles i don't want to die but then this is where it all turned around for me and this is where i go into mom mode but before i go on to mom mode i am going to use the Danessa Myricks powder now with nothing else so all i used was the hourglass concealer under the eyeball the Danessa Myricks that i got is in like a yellow so let's see how that it picks up a lot and i don't even try I'm slightly scared because it was so brightening yesterday so i'm gonna tap out as much as i can look at that it picks up a lot it's very very soft i like to set this inner part first just because that's where it tends to start creasing with the little fine lines. But once I get that, then I don't care. Then I'll just got like go in on the rest of the face. Bueno, what happens, mija? I'm like, okay, and I'm like freaking out. I am changing my shoes and I'm putting like the, the, the jacket on and stuff. And Miss Tai Tai, my 10 year old, is pouting. And it almost seems like she has a little bit of an attitude. And I was like, where is this dude coming from? Like, what's going on? Well, she was upset because she had to stay behind. She was under the impression she was going to ride yet again. And I'm like, okay, hold on, Miss Thing. The motorcycle is not yours. It's not a bicycle. It's an actual motorcycle. And moms get to have fun too. You know what I mean? Like, how fit? Well, you don't even want to go. I said, that's not the point. Let me know if I'm wrong. Moms get to have fun too. Every once in a while, it's okay. In an honest moment, she gets it. But in the moment, she's being a kid, you know, pretty much almost a preteen. She was in her feelings because she assumed, even though we told her four times, she was not going to get on that motorcycle. She assumed that she still would. Don't ask me why. That's how my kid's brain works. I only have one 10 year old, so I don't know if that's normal, but yeah, her brain works that way. And she started pouting, and then I felt like she was being selfish, and I got upset. And so what happened is, Yari got right on that motorcycle real quick without even thinking about it. By the way, I didn't intend for this to turn into a story time, but it feels like it's turning into a story time, and I'm kind of not mad at it. So it is what it is. I'm gonna use this Danessa Myricks, like that little color matte situation, color fix mats. It primed so well on the back of my hand, so I'm hoping it does the same on the eyeball. I want a, and I'm not even, see how my lids are oily? I'm not even going to clear that up. I'm quite literally gonna go over that because I wanna see how this performs. It's Danessa and these babies can be pricey, so I'm like hoping it works out for the best. But anyway, I feel like, and this is just me, again, please chime on and you guys are my friends. Comment and let me know because a lot of you guys are either going through it just like I am. Oh, this is kind of fluffy, fluffy, hold on. A lot of you guys are going through it or have gone through it, have had experiences because your kids are older. But this is like a first for me and I felt some type of way, I really did. We, we can definitely fix this, that's a non-issue, but please be mindful that that little drop was way too much for both eyeballs. And I get it. Honestly, you guys, I don't go anywhere without my kids. It's always my husband, myself, and my kids, no matter what. Now, granted, on a motorcycle, you can't just add two kids onto a motorcycle and two adults. It's a bit much. But either way, in that moment, I got angry. Like, I got so angry. And I left. I followed my husband because he was like, 
you know, uh, on reverse, taking the bike out of the driveway. And then I just hopped on and we left. And I felt zero fear because I was so upset in that moment that like my feeling of upset took over any fear I could have potentially had. And so once I realized, wait, this motorcycle's doing 70, 80, 90 miles an hour on a highway, what the heck was I thinking? It was kind of late. I'm gonna fill my brows really quickly. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte, what are you called? The Fake Awake. So when you go in and apply a nude or white, the color that you choose would typically go with your complexion and a nude is pretty much universal. But if you're very fair, you can actually add a white onto the waterline and it should look really pretty. I'm gonna move forward and apply mascara at the bottom at the top and then maybe we can zhuzh the eye up a little bit. Pero mira, that, that's very pigmented and it did the most considering I only used the pea size and that pea size was way too much. We took a bike ride, stopped, got a Red Bull and stuff. You guys, I had so much fun. It is bananas. Like I was so scared, but I think being upset helped me not overthink things because I was afraid of the idea of it. But once I was on it, it was fine. I personally had a ton of fun. Would I do it again? Yes. I even told my husband, I want a different helmet. I want my own. And I already like selected the one that I want and everything. So he's going to get me my very own helmet. I really, really had a ton of fun, honestly. As we're riding though, it start, it's Florida, so it started raining like crazy. I got so wet, the shoes got wet, my hair got, everything got wet. But at the same time, we used nature to dry our stuff. So we had like nature to be our dryer because by the time we got back to the house, we were completely dry. Little check what happened. So by the time we get back, my mother-in-law had cooked dinner. She made a soup, it's called Sancocho. It's like a Dominican something. Everyone serves themselves, we're eating. You guys remember Stephanie, my sister-in-law? Well, she goes into a box of Coke. You know, we stock up when we know everyone's gonna be there. She goes around with this can and goes, feel this, this is so odd. So when she brings it to me, I'm like, it's empty. Well, go, why are you bringing me an empty can? And then she goes, it's closed. I looked at it and it was closed. I looked underneath and it's properly sealed. There's no leaking yet. So there was like this much soda in there and I was like, what she passes it around and everyone's like in awe because we've never seen this before like years of drinking i don't buy soda in my house but when we get together as a family yeah they have soda and my kids love it they feel like they're on vacation because they know that we don't get soda here now mind you i'm a few drinks in and i don't know why whenever i have a drink or two i have like the best ideas they're passing it around and I scream, don't open it, don't open the can and they're like why not and i said because i'm gonna do a tiktok <laughs> I said, because watch this stupid video go viral. I said that just to say that and I figured we'd have fun. So if you go to my TikTok, I'll link my TikTok page below. But if you go over to my TikTok, you'll find that video. That was like in the moment. I said, um, just go with it. They're like, are you serious? Are you gonna get in front of the camera and talk to a camera and record this? I was like, that's what I do for a living. I record videos and I talk to a camera. It's awkward for you, but it's not awkward for me. It's cool. So if you look at the TikTok, you'll see both Stephanies. They're, yes, both their names are Stephanie and they're both blonde. You'll see that they're in the back and they're like giggling and it's because they find it odd. It's a weird thing for them because they have social media, but they don't have a social media presence. I think the eye look is cute, but I want to add a little bit of depth, but I don't want to like make it too crazy. I'm not going to go in with a black. I'm going to go with like a brownish gray, like a deep, deep stone out here, just on the outer lash line area. The shift that I want, I want to be subtle. And I'll do the same on the bottom, but only on the outer area, just so it'll wrap properly. So you see the difference it makes? Adds a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of depth, but not too much. So the Stephanie's Go, but what is it that you're gonna do? How are you gonna do this? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't do videos like this. I do beauty videos, but I feel like we're just gonna do a video for fun, complaining about the Coke can, and um, I'll mimic what I see other people do on TikTok. Why not? It's all in fun. It took me like two minutes to film that video and to be fair, I even considered not posting it cause it was like silly and it's all in fun. So I was like, whatever, it was fun to film. I don't think I need to post it. And if I'm honest, I was kind of battling myself cause I was like, I don't need to post it, but something was telling me post it. I posted the darn video. I let it be. Eventually everyone went home. Okay guys, today I'm doing my makeup with this. Then. Okay, let's get started. My sister sister has some music. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> not again. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. I'm not done yet. I'm recording a video. Oh, you're recording a video. I'm recording a video. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? Cammy, Cammy. Yes, Cam, Mama. Nay, makeup. Mommy's makeup? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Do we nice? No, Mama. Show me a hand. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Parenting, huh? <laughs> she just came in here. She's taking over. I want to move forward and use this blush, which now thinking about it, I have pink on a bar. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to try it. This is the Cinta London Cheeky Blush. And oh my, I'm going to use a fluffy. This is a skincare brush by Anissa Beauty, but it's really sparse and pretty and super duper soft. So it just makes sense to use this. I go to sleep thinking nothing of it. We slept in and when I look at my phone my phone was blowing up what is going on i wake up to 40,000 views on that coca-cola video 40,000 views i took a screenshot send it to the girls and i'm like i was kidding when i said watch it go viral but this is actually really funny i mean it's not like viral viral but like it's semi-viral and for me it's viral because i don't get that many views over on tiktok that was like around nine o'clock by 11 o'clock we were at 80,000 views so in like two hours the 40,000 doubled so now the girls are tracking the video and they were literally like writing to me like oh my god you've got like two more thousand views three like how the hell and I was like I don't know I don't know how this is possible but but it happened and so everyone's sitting there cracking up like wow it was just a dumb video it was so much fun and it went viral so if you go check out that video I have well over a hundred thousand views <laughs> and Coca-Cola still hasn't responded. But anyway, it was all in fun. Can we just say that blush looks really pretty? Can you build it? Yes. And it has some radiance to it, so you wanna be careful and not overbuild it because then it gets kinda like too much. But it goes on like a cream, looks like a cream, like just on visual, but it feels like a powder. Very, very pretty. So far I'm liking everything that I've tried. The serum is really nice and it added radiance because this foundation typically is more matte, so I am gonna mattify this area here. Everything else looks really nice. The eye product, listen, it's not creasing quite yet, and I've been taking breaks in between, obviously. Y'all saw Cam take over. The bronzer is nice. I wish it was a little more yellow, like golden, over red, but it's nice. And the nude liner doesn't look horrible i feel like oh i wish it was a little pinker but it's nice i'm gonna grab a fluffy brush i'm gonna use this kosas to mattify i really liked this powder yesterday and i feel like my skin looks so good up until the moment i went to take my makeup off like i look airbrushed you see these areas here see how radiant it is and i don't like how my brows look sweaty like they just look greasy so i'll go in with the kosas tap some powder in that area see how it's not changing the color or the tone it's just mattifying I really like that i'm glad i listened to you guys it's such a nice powder and then of course we're gonna apply hot water by danessa myricks this is stunning but yeah so it's been a wild wild week and then juan was trying to put his spike onto the trailer and something happened and the track that you roll the bike on fell off the bike was half on half off thank god i was able i don't know like my instinct was like, let me go check on him because i didn't even have his cell phone on him in the moment when i go check and i see half the bike was like hanging off i was like oh crap and i had to run out and help him and then i drove all the way home so i drove his pickup truck hauling a trailer which is a first i drove his pickup truck in the past so that's not new but never with a trailer well i did it this time so your girl is a badass okay because i was like i don't know what if the trailer comes off what if i don't want to hurt anybody but he was like no 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 i got you i will follow you behind and make sure that the trailer doesn't come off just in case because i was like super paranoid he's like just try be normal it's fine i'm behind you so that was a first for me yay for me and then he rode his bike all the way home and then once we got home i felt like i was like oh, life was life we were all home, we were safe, and our extended weekend at that point was over. But the thing is, like we looked at each other, we were like, the weekend turned out way better than we pictured it being. It was an amazing weekend. I think you had to be there. I know I'm like telling you stories and stuff, but like feel like you needed to be there in order to kind of really see what we were saying. And what's crazy is one of our favorite moments was when we got on that bike. He was like, I cannot believe you were not freaking out. I was like, I was too angry to be freaking out, but I'm glad in a way that Ty got me mad because I was able to really enjoy myself. All right guys, here is 
the completed look, the skin, the eye bones, every, everything. I think the makeup looks really pretty. I have to stop doing pinks. We're gonna do other colors because I've been doing a lot of pinks. Maybe the next one will be like a bronze and then maybe we'll do like a blue or a green something, girl, because we're doing a lot of pinks lately. It's pretty, but we need to use a different color because <laughs> we need to change it up. But this is the look I was able to create with my paid Ipsy box and I'm gonna be real, real honest. I am so happy I still have my open subscriptions. Not every month is like an amazing hit, but it's very rare to get like a crazy craziness. I always wanna hear your feedback, so I hope you've been commenting as we went. And if you don't know what to comment, you still have time, please make sure you comment something like algorithm. It really helps my channel out. Now YouTube is gonna recommend your next video here based on your preferences and watch history. I'll recommend additional beauty content I think you're gonna enjoy, so I hope you consider checking it out. And I'll see you guys on